Hi everybody. Welcome and thank you for joining me. On today's episode of Herbal Sessions with Tina, I'm going to teach you a bit about how to make your own well-being herbal tea blend. I used to buy a blend similar to what we're going to be assembling today. It had such an inviting and soothing aroma and tasted like a warm hug in a cup. So today I'm going to try to recreate what I once knew and loved. I've dubbed this mix that you're going to see shortly, Love Me First which is typically for women. However, guys can benefit just the same with many of the healing properties. Blends such as this have been used for decades to help females with their overall health and well-being, their reproductive and health, and potentially increase their fertility. To make this wonderful tea blend, you will need, so come with me, <laughs> a mixing bowl, a spoon, or a whisk, whatever you prefer working with, because we're mixing up the uh, various herbs in here. Then, we're going to need a spoon for every herb so we don't cross-contaminate. Packaging for afterwards to store your tea in for any of the bits that you don't use. If you're making, hoping to use some now, you'll grab one of these, or which is a non-bleached uh, tea pad. Otherwise, uh, you can cowboy style it, just pour it in, or if you have a French press, put it in there and add water. So we're going to try a little later. Now I'm going to show you what ingredients to use so we can make this really awesome tea. If you're making this blend for anyone else, I recommend wearing a mask and gloves at all times so you don't cross-contaminate or risk infection to adhere with the COVID rules. So, today's tea we're going to use raspberry leaves, and as you can see, I've got dried version and what it looks like fresh, so it might help identify when you're in the wild. We're going to use some calendula leaves, some red clover flowers, some rose hips. If you had dandelion, you can mix it in. As well, peppermint leaves we're going to use, and some candied ginger, only if you don't have any allergies and you enjoy the taste. So if you were making this tea from herbs that you've uh, grown in your garden or found in the wild and wanted to dry them, you would just lay them out on parchment paper and uh, individually place them, put them in the oven for, uh, it's going to vary depending on the leaf, so I'd recommend if you have either a dehydrator, otherwise you could use your oven at maybe 150 degrees and just leave it on for 20 to 40 minutes. Each one will de depend on uh, the petal itself. Okay, so just before we mix our ingredients uh, together, I'd like to share a bit about why I'm using the ingredients that you uh, see here today. Uh, mainly about their healing properties. So red clover is typically known for being a blood cleanser and having a high mineral content separately to alkalize the human body as well as help support the uterus. Again, going back to it originally being for females, but uh, a lot of this can still pertain to the men, minus certain uh, obvious areas, we'll say. <laughs> Dandelion root would have been the, the other one. I don't have any. I do have this lovely little plant that uh, I'm sampling. I dug up some. I used the root from when we were making that uh, dandelion root tea, and now I'm just trying to regrow them kind of like celery, and it's kind of neat. Dandelion root is a digestive aid for several organs. It's a blood purifier, for females, it helps with overall reproductive organs, and for people in general, it's just rich in potassium, and uh, it's great. So, however, because I don't have dandelion today, I'll substitute it with ooh, calendula flowers, ooh. Uh, which are rich in antioxidants and often used in oils, teas, salves, ointments, and various other herbal needs, <laughs> we'll say it. For insect bites, cuts, scrapes, allergic reactions to various plants, such as poison ivy, and in general, just as an overall heal balm for all your aches and pains kind of flare. So, these rose hips here, or how we see them all every day when we walk to school. Uh, what am I saying? They're good to help lower your stress levels. They help it with your immune system. And they're a good way to get in extra vitamin C. Red raspberry leaf. So these guys that we've known for a few classes now or just in general in life. Looking like this. <laughs> Red raspberry leaves are, have been for many centuries helped with female reproductive systems and are high in minerals. I think I've got them all. I, the peppermint leaves have typically been as a digestive aid and oh my god. An overall aromatic stress reliever, we'll say. 
Okay, so for today, we'll be making a smaller batch to allow for you guys to sample it at home before you fully commit in case it's not your cup of tea. So, for each ingredient we're going to be using, we're going to use only about one tablespoon of each. And then it should yield about three to four cups of tea, or if you want, just one giant pot. If you end up really enjoying this blend, then I'd recommend making a larger batch of, say, one cup of each ingredient to to still keep the portion size down and preserve the integrity and flowers of the tea blend ingredients. Unless you know you'll drink it daily. Okay, so we're going to take our bowl. Find a place to put it on. That's stable. Okay, then we're going to take this size spoon for most of the uh, flowers here and just take out... Let's see. We're going to take out... About a heaping spoon of it. Wow, I'm going to speed this up because that's terrible. So we're going to take about two spoons of it. Put it in the bowl. So this is a general <laughs> one tablespoon size plus a raspberry leaf. We'll just leave the spoon in there for now. Then we're going to take the calendula flowers. And do the same. Sorry for the jumbling. <laughs> do the same. And almost. Okay, so. Oh, I've already broken my rule. Don't cross mix. So this is now the mixing spoon. All right. Now we're going to take the red clover and do about the same. Just a little more to even that out. And I might as well keep stirring as we go since I've already done that. It's going to make it easier later. We don't even need that big spoon now. If you're just making it for yourself, you can use the same spoon if you know that you're going to make these often and you don't really care. All right, rose hips. Gonna, you know what? In the interest of holding the phone, we're gonna shake them out. All right, and just a petite pair more. All right, now we're gonna take our peppermint leaves, and rather than take the spoon, we're just gonna shake them in as well. I'll try to shake it on the spoon so we can get an idea. And then, in this case, if you're going to be using the ginger, we can add it in now as well. Now, because ginger tends to take over, you only want about a teaspoon or less. So we're going to just flop that in. Now we can lightly toss our herbal concoction here. Try to evenly spread out the ingredients so it has a better taste all around without really putting pressure and crushing the flowers. <laughs> Alright, when you think it's about to evenly, you just want to take the bowl and I'm going to move the phone away for a sec. <laughs> you take the bowl and you shake it around a little just to make sure. And then now you're ready to either just put it in your cup. And now you're ready to take your tea bag and uh, put in about, we'll say, I put in two of these. You're just gonna let it steep for a minute to however long you feel the urge to, and then enjoy. And when you're done making your mix and your tea here, the rest, the remainder of the tea can go in a, the jar just like this. And again, remember to seal it tight and uh, keep it up to about a month or so. Anything after that is going to start losing its freshness unless you properly seal it with a, a pressure cooker, which I don't have. So keep that in mind. Hi guys, so thanks for tuning in today on today's episode of How to Make Your Own Herbal Tea Blend. Come back next week, same time, so I can teach you how to make your own rowan berry or mountain ash berry as we know it and paradise apple jelly. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.